Alright guys, it's day 30. Um, there should be a lot of notifications. Probably a lot of messages too. So, let's see it. As I want to say. No messages. A lot of notifications. Okay. Oof. Well, my b <laughs> So we're at war with Japan, right? I mean, the United States, right? Okay, yeah, I'm not getting A1 to there. Not that easily. So, um... Japan... Got impatient. Japan got impatient. Let's just say that. Awaiting command. And um, yeah. I'm gonna say is it does happen, you know. Okay, what's the yeah? The actual patrol range is like all the way out here. For now. Yeah. No, Japan got impatient, so I attacked the U.S. At North per second? Okay. Yeah, we can't go there. Seeing my men to stop, actually, is the thing. Especially this one. So, I need my Orion's upgrade to take Hawaii. So, best thing is, like, patrol here and all that. I move this guy up to here. But yeah. The way it's been going, Hawaii. I mean, Japan's been going fucking ham. Like, this guy took out all of Anchorage's builder buildings. He took out Vancouver's. He took. He didn't attack Portland, you know, he could have. Um, he's taking out Los Angeles right now. And he's going to be taken out. He took out San Francisco. Like, this crazy fuckhead may just get us killed, but it may also work out for us, too, interestingly enough. So, yeah, you can see his scrambling units. So, right, yeah, U.S. was building an airfield here. Because U.S. threatened to bomb his cities. And, um, my bomber stopped it. Let's just say that. So, bam. So, yeah. So, let me pull this up. So, I don't think my bomber's gonna attack subs. Yeah, it gets ships, though. It gets ships. So, where's the Cor Corvetti Regiment at? You know? So, I'm gonna... Okay, I see where. So, he didn't have any anti-air there. So, somewhere around here is a Corvetti Regiment. Interesting. Okay. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Th this guy went absolute bananas on us, though. <laughs> Honestly, sir. So, that cruise missile stuff, yeah, that ain't gonna work. I think, unless he can take some, like, Suava now, at this point. So I'm gonna have these guys show up here now. So they're defending at a 1. We're attacking at 1.9. But as you can see, I got Orion's and Destroyer Station out here. So if any funny business does happen, well, that'll be fine. I'll split off to Orion. And attack with the bombers. Let's see the Orion. So I'm gonna patrol over here now at Hat Yai. It's like right here, bam. I'm actually so like even though I've used Orion so a very, very like a very small limit of time. I actually enjoy them already. Like I actually enjoy the naval patrol aircraft already. Because they actually seem pretty good. You know, for defense at least. Some more of these guys built. Well, it's just like, we're waiting for more money to come in. 
but that doesn't seem to be as big of an issue now, is what I'm going to say. Wait, so you can build some bads then. But yeah, I'm trying to upgrade my anti-air and anti-water capabilities right now, though. So yeah, go over here. I was increasing my motorized energy, but I realized that I really don't need to do that, interestingly enough. Uh, let's move to a view off. A few of you off, actually. Go to one of you. But these are the guys who want to stay. Right? So I knock three off, one of you, and then keep all of this. So this is what's getting moved out. You guys can go to, um, You know, I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna try to deploy them up towards um. Yeah, that's right. I'll de I'll scramble them towards um. I think Portland. Does this go by Hawaii though? It does. So I can't really do that sadly. I'll let them go anyway. Yeah, this guy, like, let's look what the U.S. has, what U.S. was saying. I think, or my stealth bombers will begin bombing your cities, bro. Your stealth bombers are level 1, Colonel, and that's really all they are. Oh, they have an attack range of 5,000. That is pretty big. Now, there's only one issue. Sure, they are 5,000. Don't get me wrong. That's deadly. Just something... He doesn't have any airports around here anymore. He doesn't... Here's the thing. He does not... Okay. The physical thing is, he does not physically have the range anymore. The moment Hawaii was taken out, it was done. His airstrip on that little island, not built enough. He doesn't have any stealth bombers to use anymore. There is nothing from the stealth bomb. Best you can do is actually our allies now at this point. And I don't think you're trying to catch a uh, spicy L. But yeah, these guys are taking this over. But our guys vibing up here. But yeah. I'm supporting Japan though. With what I can. So that's why stealth. But Vic was worried about the elite bombers though. Why? Yeah, he doesn't have... I mean, I think he does, but... Eh. Can carry three and five. While a max normal can carry... Three, Jesus. I can see why he'd be worried. Wait, does that actually get ballistic capabilities immediately? Actually? Because that's all he has. It does. That's scary. Only range of 2,000, though. Oh, well. I mean, I'd have liked to gotten this. But, eh, you know? So it happens, I guess, in this room. He's active for two days after deployment, okay. Uncontrollable unit, I see. Doesn't move once deployed. Can't conquer. Can reveal ground units on stealth. Doesn't have a ferry range, apparently, but yeah. Deployed by Corvettes, Naval Motorized Entry, Special Forces, Recon, Amphibious Vehicles, Mechanized Entry, Mobile Radar, National Guard, and AFVs. You know, I was waking up thinking, like, okay, the U.S. is going to fold us. It absolutely, like, my bombers will be dead. No. I, I honestly expect my bombers to be dead. Nah. They ain't. But yeah, all of the U.S.'s threats also come from the fact that he's building things over here. And the thing is, the only place I would actually be building his stealthers and his elitors would be the capital. 
and he does not have good navy. Like, if Japan can get a foothold in here, it's over. It honestly is, for the U.S. at least. Now, we gotta be worrying about something like Chile, though. I know they're not gonna have a strong navy and all that. And even then, it'd be stupid for them to attack me in Japan when they got other people in the way. It's also why I'm scrambling Orions right now to go around the place. So, this is Vietnam. Vetini. You know, might just start creating some of these or annexing more. You know? Um, that's Homeland. Palemberg. Uh, any of these got airports? Even if it's partially destroyed, I'll t make those annexed. Construct an airbase, please. So, like, yeah. Absolutely nutty, man. This does. But do I really want to annex it, though, is the question. Anything on here that actually has an airport? No, but I will build one, though. Airbase. Amount of money now. Because of that, ants. Components. Fine with that. Well, money will be no issue in, uh, like, t three minutes at most. Actually, probably, like, a minute. Yeah. Um. But as you can see, I got people scrambled though, and I'm trying to take out Indonesia right now. Because honestly, if we don't do it like right now, I know. I don't know. I'm at war with too many people. As is, is the thing. Because I didn't clown New Zealand. I think he's still alive somewhere. The pesky little fuck. This should be all of Thailand. And I'm pushing this. I take this. It should be Thailand out. That's Australia's thing out. You know? Like, there's just so many people left alive. Is the thing. Also, Suava. Or Suva. Yeah. It's only occupied. I don't think there's going to be a lot of resistance here. Honestly. So, no, no, you move into it. Also, because of the fact that means his resources have been draining every single day, besides his electronics, which I don't think motorized used, do they? Maybe advanced. No, they don't use electronics. Sadly, is isn't helping him at all. Take this, we'll take New Britain. It was about time that I wrapped up all of his stuff, you know? Really threatening us and all that. Like, yeah, bro. Uh, actually, no. Well, let's see. I think, yeah, I'm Bangkok. Oh, wow. I should have a spare unit in here somewhere, though, that I can, like, scramble. Like, have all these guys out here, because if a bomber does come in, oh, he's screwed. Honestly. Let's mobile. I can't. Because he's starting my army base. Okay. That's mean. Yeah. This guy's out here sending spy actions towards me first, by the way. And he's gonna what? Get all Pikachu face that I'm attacking him? Like, bro, I cannot help it that you decided that you were the one who spied on me first. Only reason I'm acting this way is a complete defense. Well, I mean, at the beginning it was, now it's not. You know? I'm also happy I moved my capital from Bangkok to Enderland. Because I don't like having capitals on the ocean, if possible. Because that just feels like a risky play if you don't go for a strong navy or good anti navy setup. Besides, so fucking US is fucking cracked out of his mind. Look at that, he's now building an airfield there. So you can probably bomb our allies. Actually, I'm curious. Since there is a base here, I can actually test this with a bomber I got. What would the range be if I wanted to say... Well, I can base off the range to the Falklands. Yeah. Then he probably wouldn't be within range. At least not something major. 
Like, bro, with how much time he's had, he should have been annexing a lot more. And look at India. India is ready to attack the U.S. from the right side, is the thing, and he just doesn't know it. Even India has, like, somewhat of a better navy than him, I'd say. Yeah, I may have to go for an aircraft carrier, though, soon. Just so I can get out some Orions and then really mess them up. Because I don't think any of these bombers can really hurt water troops as much as, well, once meant for it can. So, you know, happens. So it doesn't scout out things, but it's an early warning thing, though. And they have, like, a naval variant for, like, ships and all that. Wait. Low and high for aircraft and naval? Okay. So I think low basically means, like, corvettes and stuff. Because I figured out for at least air view, I mean, uh, units on the ground. For ground units, high radar signatures would be, like, vehicles and stuff, like, hard armored. But one or two soft targets are low, essentially. But look at this, though. That's probably most likely free of any of this guy's territory. Stay out of view. So, like, bro, if you're going to do that, why don't you attack this? Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, no, seriously, this is just trying to bully us. It ain't going to work. Not this time. In fact, he's probably creamed out now. Because I imagine what he was trying to do is build up his forces and then attack us. But because um, Japan was savage and doesn't care, we got this little situation going now. So yeah, what well, U.S. is going to feel knowing that they're the ones who technically caught it. Because basically, I'm going to assume that me saying that he's spying on me and that he then declared war then triggered Japan into an attack thing. And he was justified. Anyway, that's going to be for this one, y'all. I'll catch you next one later. Peace. I think we got this. I thought we didn't last night, but now I'm sure we do.